Hello everybody and welcome to another e-learning how-to guide. In this guide I'm going to cover two things. Now the first of those is a random name picker on the smart notebook. Um, this is a tool you can use to pick student names at random which um, you can use in lessons to determine which student will answer your question for example. Um, I'm also going to cover how to create a random group generator in Smart Notebook. Um, this is a tool that allows you to randomly divide the students into groups for any activities where they need to be in groups. Um, and I think the advantages of both of these tools are that they are automated and completely random. So students can't argue with the result or say they've been treated unfairly why pick me etc because it is random and I think in the case of the name picker it also adds some fun and suspense to the lesson so um, yeah before we go through the process you will need a number of things the first is um, you will need smart notebook um, this is installed already on every machine connected to a smart board but if your machine is not one of those then you can contact the help desk and have them install it on there. Um, secondly, you will need this, the lesson activity toolkit. Um, this will also be installed on any machine that is connected to a smart board. But for those of you that do not have that privilege, you can see the link below the video for more information on how to find and install the toolkit. It is relatively easy. Um, now that's out of the way, it's time to create a random name picker. So first of all, you will need to click on this second tab down the side here on the left, which resembles a picture frame. So you can click on there, and then you will see a search box at the top. Now, in there, you will need to type in random word. And you may need to scroll down, but you should see an activity called random word chooser. Now, you can double click that to add it to your notebook, like so. Now, before you enter any names, you should look at this drop down in the bottom center of the activity. Now, this should be configured to however many students you have, so I'm going to say 10. And you also have a checkbox in the bottom left. Now this is for whether or not you want student names to be repeated. That's up to personal preference, so I'll leave that up to you. Um, now you've configured the activity, you can enter some names. Like you can see, I have now done there. It's just a case of clicking and typing the names into the boxes. Um, so when that's been done, you can then press select and at random, a student will be picked. And yeah, you can reuse that as many times as you wish. Um, you can save this activity to access it, re-edit it, reuse it, whatever you want to do um, at a later date. So yeah, that's how you create a random name picker. Um, so I'm going to delete that and I will now show you how to create a random group generator. So here you need to search again on this picture frame tab for random group this time. Like so, and then you will see two, one with brackets saying image and one with brackets saying text. The one you need is text, so double click that one like so and again there is a drop down box at the bottom here you select how many groups you want to divide the class into so I'm going to say four and then you can enter the student names like so and now that's been done you can click generate and your class will be divided into its groups now um, from this stage you can either go back and add some more names if you wish or you can click regroup to re-randomize the class. Um, you can also inject all groups into this notebook document which just means moving the text over but you don't need to do that, that's just if you specifically want to. 